All right, I am here now. Uh, let me switch over. All right, so today we're going to be doing the same thing that we have been doing, um, that we were doing yesterday. I just figured out a new and much better way to be doing things, and so I'm gonna be showing that to you today. I'm just, I just, hey Tom, what's up? Uh, I just brought this into my animation program here for a second because I remember if you were here yesterday on stream, you would have seen me. I was trying to um, use vec use Photoshop's vectors, but of course those aren't very good. So I ended up not really accomplishing my goal at all. I spent the entire stream trying to trying to do it, uh, trying to remaster one scene. Didn't work out at all. So I ended up going back and doing it off of off the stream. But I still ended I still ended up doing it. So that's that's what matters, right? And then I, I posted that to the Discord. We have a Discord now. I don't know if you have the link to it, Tom. I forgot to add it down below in the description of uh, of the Twitch channel, but I will. Probably when this is done, but that's... <laughs> CC, please don't, please don't harass Tom. He can mute you. Tom is, Tom is the goat mod. He will mute you. Yes, but today, so basically what I was doing yesterday is I was trying to take that one scene, as you have seen from, I posted it on Twitter and on, uh, on the Discord, and I was trying to do that and use Photoshop vectors which aren't very good, and yeah, it turned out, it turned into a big problem because, I mean, I had previously done it before, um, like I said, using... I did it before with Batman the Animated Series, and I remastered things that way. But I guess because Bugs Bunny is a much more like fluid character that you can't really use just shapes to create him again. And so it, was, it turned out to be a much more difficult process than I had thought it was going to be. So I was just like, you know, let me just pull this into my animation software and literally just trace over it, and that should work. And it ended up working actually really well, except for the fact that I can't uh, I can't export what you call it. I can't export vectors from here, which kind of sucks. But I had a little workaround that basically I blew these pictures up to like really large size, the the, the tracings that I'm going to be doing, and then I pulled them into Photoshop and piece them together, basically like that. <laughs> oh god, CC. You're, you're, you're making the wrong enemy, I feel like. I don't know, I don't know why you gotta get so mad at, at he's, he's, he's just a, he's just a poor mod. Tom, are you gonna come here and take this? He's, he's, uh... He's really messing with you. Okay, here we go. I feel like I sh I feel like I should step in, you know. Like uh, I I'm by by not doing anything myself, I'm allowing this this chat to be happening. How did he he did not start with you first? What are you talking about? He didn't say anything to you. <laughs> he didn't say a GD word to you, CC. He's just going along, minding his own business. You know, modding, modding the, modding the channel, and then you come in with your, with your false facts about Mike McCarthy. Oh wait, yeah, here we go. Sorry, I thought my tablet wasn't working there for a second. Shut up. <laughs> Do my photoshopping. <laughs> first of all, this isn't even Photoshop. I know it says Photoshop in the, like, in the tags for this video. But that's because the tags are not working. Like the Twitch, t I've had so many problems with Twitch. Like everyone always complains about YouTube and it's like, wow, they don't like creators or whatever. Whereas Twitch does, and I get that. Or well, Twitch is more. I don't know. They they make it more obvious that they like creators. CC is fake news. Yeah, you tell them. You you go, girl. And then. Uh, so everyone's like, oh, let's all switch to Twitch, because that's like a good platform and it works. And it's like, well, not really. <laughs> the amount of times that, tw that Twitch has not worked is very, very annoyingly large. It's a very annoyingly large amount of times. 
including yesterday and today. Well, actually today it did work, but I was like, you know what? Yesterday I didn't change anything, so, oh, whoops. I was like, yesterday my tags weren't working, so I wasn't under the proper categories. You know what, today I'm not gonna be under the proper categories either. Yes, I did, Tom, I'm sorry. Please accept my apology. Please continue to mod the the uh, the channel as as diligently as you have been in the past. Is the music okay? Is the, well, I mean, like in terms of volume. I've actually I've I've come to like it. YouTube is for alt-right weirdos to launch their media careers. Uh, what about Twitch? <laughs> I mean, has have alt-right people used it to launch their media careers? Yes, but does that doesn't mean that the entire point of the platform is for that? Oh damn! You know what my um my my what's going on here? My my keyboard my whatever my tablet shortcut stuff is all messed up. Nothing is working properly. I don't think. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. Let me let me try to fix this. Twitches for video games. YouTube literally became popular because of video games. I don't know what you're talking about. Like YouTube, YouTube, and it still is the most popular thing on the platform, probably. I mean, PewDiePie is like the the gamer. And he's the most popular guy, so... Even though he doesn't do just games anymore, he's still a gamer, I would say. Probably. Fake news! I don't know, I don't know what the YouTube hate is for. Um, there's, the thing about YouTube is like, I was actually, I was reading an article about YouTube, and apparently, that's not true. No, no, I, I'm not saying, okay, okay. YouTube was popular before gaming was a thing. But it really blew up because of gaming. Like, like, yes, it ex what is going on with my shortcuts? Damn. Like, yes, it existed. Yes, there was, like, content on there. Yes, people used it. But it blew up and became really big because of gaming. There's a reason why there's, like, a, a section of the YouTube... Or, like, they, own, they created their own, like, YouTube gaming app. Because it's the big... It's still the biggest genre that's on the platform. Even though it's, be, it's being used in so many different ways, it's still the biggest genre on the platform. By far, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know the exact data, but... And that's still not to say that there isn't a lot of other stuff to watch on there, but... I'm just saying that, you, that video games are, like, the main thing. Well, well, not... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> They're not the main thing, but they're the thing that made the thing big. If that makes sense. Ah, I messed up that line. That line is actually is not too bad, I just have to pull it out a little bit more. YouTube is for playing music through Dynobot. <laughs> you know, I, I thought when Discord integrated with Spotify it was going to be so much cooler and so much better. Like you, like, you should just be able to put your Spotify playlist through, like, a bot. Why is that not a thing yet? That's, that's what I thought it was going to be. I think that's what, that's what pretty much everyone thought it was going to be. And it turns out that it wasn't that. And instead, it's still, it's just, like, this listening party or whatever. Like, like what is that? No one cares about that. And then, it, like, it disappears once the song is over, right? So you can't even, like, keep it as, like, Yo, I was listening to this earlier today. Because then as soon as you sign offline, it, 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 uh, it quits out. And it's like, the listening party is over. 
And it's like, thanks a lot. I don't get the people that use YouTube for music, though. I guess that's because I mean, well, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't watch, I don't watch uh, music videos ever. I think music videos are really dumb. But that's because all the music that I listened to came out before music videos were a thing, and so now I'm not like accustomed to watching music videos. I just, it just doesn't make sense. It's always like this. It's usually like this really artsy thing that is like, oh, there's a deeper meaning to the song or whatever. And it's like just let the song is the is the entertainment slash art already. Just let that stand by itself. You don't need a a video on top of it. And also, I listen whenever I'm listening to music, it's in the background of of doing other work. So you expect me to sit there and like watch music? That's basically what people. YouTube is a way to hear any music you want without having to have an account or anything. Yes, but with ads and no playlists, if you're if you're saying without an account, just make a free Spotify account. It's so much better than than YouTube Music. <laughs> a man who has never seen the Thriller video. I actually have never seen the Thriller video all the way through. I've never seen the Thriller video all the way through. <laughs> don't don't roast me. I mean, like, look, cause like obviously it's been parodied and referenced and referenced like so much that I couldn't have just avoided it. But but I've never actually like sat down and been like, today I'm watching the Thriller music video. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Actually, I've watched I've watched the Kiss from a Rose music video. <laughs> that's that's about it. That's really like all I've watched. And that's just like clips from the movie. <laughs> it's just some guy singing on a rooftop <laughs> and clips playing from a terrible Batman movie. That's the extent of music videos that I've watched. Well, I've watched, um, oh, what's it called? Like one of those stupid songs had a stupid music video. Uh, I'm trying to think of it now. Thriller video over The Godfather. I haven't watched The Godfather either. <laughs> I need to watch The Godfather. I've been watching The Sopranos, and everyone says it's like the greatest show of all time. Oh wait, well I I think I already had this conversation with you. I'm pretty sure, right? Or like I've been watching it, and like season one is really dumb. There's, as of right now, there's nothing that I've seen in season one that's made me want to keep, continue watching. So, I haven't. I actually, I actually moved on and I started watching Curb Your Enthusiasm. Like, I'm, I'm gonna come back to The Sopranos, but not right now. Uh, let's get this line nice. I know you're gonna have a problem with that. And then at some point, I'll, some, at some point I'll watch The Godfather too. The Godfather as well, and then probably The Godfather 2 as well. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Season 1 is excellent. Okay, well, I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't even finished Season 1, so... I'm like, as of, as of the first five episodes, I've, I've just not, I'm just not interested enough to keep watching for an hour at a time. And that's coming. From, I mean, I I want to I want to like it. I like I I came in was like, I think I think what happened was, yeah I I, <laughs> I won't watch The Godfather three if that makes you happy. What happened was oh come on there. What happened was um, I think I went into The Sopranos with too high of an expectation. Because I really did, I really did come into the show liking, wanting to like it. I was like, this is going to be really good. Oh, this is so crappy. <sighs> but now, now I'm like, now I'm like, eh, I'll take take it or leave it. This is really nothing special. So far, so far. Let me, let me add the disclaimer of so far. I'm willing to keep, I'm willing to give it another chance. Definitely. Let's see, this eye is a little bit off here. Let's see if I can fix it some. I'm willing to give it another chance, but just not right now. Right now I'm watching Curb 
And my brother is a guy, I don't know if you watch, Cur I assume you watch Curb, right? Uh, CC. Curb Your Enthusiasm. And my brother is like really into Curb Your Enthusiasm and he's been trying to get me to watch it for a long time now. <laughs> the thing that I always said about it is like, every episode of Curb is basically exactly the same where it's, it's just like, it's just like him complaining about some problem and then like, uh, it's, it's just so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb, but at the same time, it's actually genius. Like, I started watching it, and I was like, okay, yeah, I mean, I'm right. It is the same exact thing every episode. But I was like, okay, I'll keep watching this, you know. It's, re it's pretty good. And now I'm, I'm already into the second season. Because I binge-watched, like, I, I binge-watched an entire season yesterday. And I was like, yeah, you know what? This show is actually, like, pretty, pretty genius. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. That's what I would have to say about it. And now I'm, like, referencing it and everything, because my brother's seen it, and, like, whenever we talk, I'm just going to be referencing it all the time. It's kind, it's kind of it's kind of created a monster. It's really not good. Here we go. I'm not liking the way that the the brush. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm really surprised you see that you didn't bring up the fact that uh, <laughs> that I that uh. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna bring it up myself. See, so you need to join the Discord if you care about seeing this, if you care about watching the streams. Which I assume you do since you're here. I'm gonna add a link to it, but just message me afterwards or something and I'll give it to you. I was actually going to talk about Curb on this stream today. Because like I said, I basically spent the entire day yesterday just completely binge watching it instead of doing actual work that I had to do. God dang it. Why is this not working properly? And so now I'm like a super fan. Although... I kind of got in at the wrong time because it's like ending now, I believe. Oh, Game of Thrones is ending too now. So, one of the things that I was actually reading about Westworld, uh, Westworld t Season 2, which I'm like super excited and, and hyped for, is that the, it's going to have like a much larger budget, which, you know, isn't always good, but in this case I trust that, I trust that it will be. Yeah, that's good. And that's because, uh, whatever, whatever the show is called, Game of Thrones is finally ending, right? And so... Ah, oh, shoot. And so now HBO has, like, a, a ton more money to just be, like, throwing around to people and shows. So I don't have to worry about that eating up the entire budget anymore. And so Westworld 2 is open and free to be like this huge, like, epic, really great season, whatever that turns into be. Whatever that turns into actually being. Okay. This is coming together. So what I, what I did is I did the line work yesterday off stream. What I did is I did the line work in here. This is uh, my animation program, which I don't, I unfortunately don't really use anymore. I don't really animate anymore. But I'm doing the line work in here, and then I'm going to export the line work as a transparent image and pull that into Photoshop, uh, compile that, stick that all together, and then color it in, in Photoshop, just because I feel like Photoshop is better. Some of its coloring mechanics are better. Some of them aren't. Like, for, for some reason, the paint bucket doesn't work properly for me. And like I've I've tried to look it up and I've tried to change the like the tolerance of things like the, the the tolerance level of the paint bucket and that doesn't work. Let's try to get this line here. Oh god, oh god! I'm relying too much on the uh, 
on the smoothing the smoothing mechanic here. Let's try to get this again. Yeah, there you go. I've tried to change the, the paint bucket so that it actually works properly, but for some reason I can't get it to work right. And so I'm kind what I'm what's happening is I'm stuck doing coloring each individual thing in by hand. Which is not necessarily bad, it's just a more time consuming process, but it also allows me to, I don't know, it, it allows me to change some things around, you know, do some interesting things with the color in post, or post line work at least. And it also leads to a higher quality image because, well, I suppose I could do the same thing in Toon Boom, color it here and then export it all. But at this point I'm actually just more familiar with Photoshop than I am with Toon Boom, even though this, this is where I started. I basically completely forgot how to use this, so... <laughs> including, and my, my tablet shortcuts aren't even set up for this anymore. Which is why, which is partly, part of why they're all like messed up right now. Like, what? Like, what is happening? Ah, okay. Let's see. And my line work is a little bit a little bit greasy. It's a little bit it's a little bit crappy. Oh. But I'm so used to like the Photoshop stuff at this point. Uh, what am, what am I, what are you gonna do? Okay, here you go. In terms of like controls and everything. The, the, because I feel like I feel like I know you can do like smoothing and like changing around uh, and but you can't well you can't play with vector you can't do anything you can't draw with vectors I don't think not without using the pen tool which is basically what I was trying to accomplish yesterday unsuccessfully especially with a character like Bugs Bunny where you have different areas colored in oh here we go You have different areas that aren't separated by lines, but they are separated by color. And that's a really difficult thing to do using, using the Photoshop vectors to color that stuff in properly. I mean, you, you could do it, and I could do it with like layer masks and everything. But I'm pretty sure that's the only way I can do it. And that's like really, really, really tedious. So I figured I might as well just come in here it's giving me smoother lines, it's giving me more control, and it's like complete vector. It's completely vector. Vector based. No, I don't like that. Oh, that would have been so good. Alright, let's see. I also like how you can like fool the, the perspective tool in Toon Boom is like my savior. Because you can just straight up change the lines around like this. And it's actually like a really awesome feature. Like, look at that. I drew that line perfectly right from the start and totally didn't have to mess around or adjust anything. I'm just a great artist that has practiced in a long time, that practices every day. That's the weird thing, coming back drawing now is like this is kind of actually the perfect... Um, it's like the perfect case for me because I've been wanting to get back into, I've been doing so much stuff in Photoshop and photography work and stuff like that, but I, I haven't really done any drawing in the past, oh god, in, in the past year, really. And that kind of makes me sad because it, like I said, it's where I got started, it's, it's what I originally had the passion, a passion for, but it's, it's, I mean, I'm so like out of practice, it's gone now, basically. There's no, there's nothing I can do. Okay. And so, just getting back into the swing of things, using the tablet again to actually draw is really good. And also, using the, the program again, and just like, just tracing over something. Like I have, I'm, I'm tracing over something, so I'm not... I'm not beholden to whatever I'm creating. 
if that makes sense. Like I'm not, I'm not a slave to what I create. I, I'm, I'm already, I already see what the finished product is, and I'm just basically, it's just a, basically a practice for like my own line work and my own artistic skills. Why? Why is it doing that? This is gonna get really frustrating real fast. Alright, All right, I'm trying to get this little like upper lip area. Does that look good? Yeah, I guess it looks good. Uh, and I'm missing a line up here too. And I put the whiskers in later because they're on a they're on a completely separate layer because I'm able to just put them so I'm I'm able to just put them in like way after the fact. I'm not even thinking about that right now. I'm just trying to get the nice little shapes and the little little areas down. Oh I like the um the smoothing on the Toon Boom brushes is so much better than stuff in Photoshop. Incoming oof. What's the incoming oof? Well, when I when I when I look at the finished product, is that what the incoming oof is? Um, what I haven't been doing in this piece is using a lot of line variation, line width variation. I've been sort of like very timid with my line work today. It's like, I'm, it's like I'm not in the mood. Here, there we go. I mean, to be fair to myself, there wasn't really a lot of line work variation. That's, that's what I was talking about a little bit yesterday. Like, I don't even know how, I don't know how the inking was done on these, because I know it was done on cells, right? But the line work is like so clean and uniform that it looks like it was done by pen. But it's at the same time, um, there there is like some variation to it. So it's like it couldn't possibly be pen. And it, there's no way that it, that this could be like a paintbrush because that it's just not it's just not fine enough. But maybe it was. Maybe it is. Nope. There you go. That's what I missed. I missed the feeling of doing some, having to do something a thousand times until you got it just right. <laughs> and when I say I missed it, I mean I hate that. Oh, that one was not too bad. That line was not too bad. It's, it's, it's a constant, uh, it's a constant internal struggle. Especially because I don't have a what I don't have a, a pen display tablet. My tablet is disconnected completely from the screen and so that's why my line work is a little bit messed up in some areas. I, don't, I mean I don't want to blame just that but certainly like, like my line work doesn't connect sometimes with the other lines and that's definitely why. Uh, is that right? I feel like that's not right. It's not. Oh, okay. That's an that's an interesting little fold on the jacket there. I like how Bugs Bunny has a double chin. Can we just appreciate that? <laughs> Bugs Bunny is very thick. I see, that's that's like the kind of attention to detail I love. <laughs> they put in the. They, they, they really did know their stuff in the old cartoons. Alright. Let's see. Nope. Alright, let's see. What else is on the agenda? I've, I've actually been playing... I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but I was, I've been playing a ton of Civ recently. The game, Civilization. Specifically Civ 5. Yeah, there we go. That's some nice variation there. And that has got me like re-hooked. So 
I have a Mac computer, a Mac laptop. That's what I'm working on. That's what I'm using to work on this right now. That's what I do all my work on. That's what I do my gaming on to aside from my PlayStation. And so that so when it comes to computer gaming that like really limits what I can do cuz Macs are not meant for gaming. And I w I kind of wish I had known that going into going into this because I was still so young and dumb. Oh god. I I didn't really know what I was doing when I was getting a computer. I I'm still one, I was still one of those people that was like Oh, it's Mac. Macs aren't bad. Macs are good. I don't care that it's so much more expensive and it does half the stuff that a cheap PC could do. It's a Mac. And Macs are good. God, okay, hold on. No! No! That little, that little, uh... That little flourish right there. Okay, that's good. That's good, finally. And so I bought a Mac not knowing that, uh, I was going to be using it for other stuff besides just like Google Docs. And I'm paying the price for it now because I can't really do a whole lot. Even streaming is like super taxing on my computer. Is the stream even still on? Yeah. <laughs> Have to check there for a second. Even that is like super taxing on my computer. And there's really not like a whole lot I can do. Like I, I, there is this. Um, I, uh, I bought this one app, and it's meant to. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. It's meant to turn your iPhone or iPad. I, in my case, iPhone. Ah, why is it doing that? Into a second screen. So whenever I'm checking like stream stuff, I have to switch over manually. Uh, my display. It turns your. It turns your. It turns your computer in. Uh, turns your iPhone into a second display. So right now, if I want to look at my other display, I have to manually switch over. That's what it is when, like, when the screen shakes and then all of a sudden you can see my my OBS. That's what I'm doing. And the problem with that is you guys can see that, right? So it's a little bit frustrating to have to do that because it just it just looks bad, and it messes up the workflow. It messes up the the video if I'm trying to do like speed art. Uh, it messes up the stream too because it it sort of breaks the illusion of what's going on. I feel like like I don't like it. And so I bought this app and I was like, okay, if we use this app, I'll be able to use my phone as a second display. And then that way, if I want to check on the stream health and like status and what's going on and, and volumes of things and uh, what's it called, like, like notification alerts, things like that. Well, I can do that and I can just look on onto my phone because it's the second display in this case. But the problem with that is it doesn't work because my computer is, is having so much difficulty just running the, these art programs and just running um, and just running OBS itself and streaming all in one, and it's like, nope, no, when you plug it, we can't support a second display. When you plug that in, things just go haywire, and it gets like super slow and laggy and unusable. So that sucks, and I wish I had known that going into buying a Mac. Because, I, mean, I, I mean, I bought like a pretty good model too. It's, it's eight gigabytes of RAM, which should be more than enough, but, Apparently, it's not, and that is frustrating, especially because that was just ten dollars down the drain. I mean, but I mean, aside from, aside from that too, though, aside from that, it is still frustrating.
because I just can't do all the things that I would like to. I can't do all the things that I would like to be able to do because I'm 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 held back by the hardware limitations. And I know people people will laugh at me. They'll be like, "Ha, huh, that's what you get for buying a Mac." But it's like, okay, I didn't know at the time that that was the problem. And now with the new Macs, they're like, they they took away all of the memory. They took away all of the space. They took away. The uh, all the all the headphone jacks and everything on the computer, like it's bad enough that I don't have a CD player. Cause if I had a CD player, I'd be like, I'd be burning all the CDs. I have a ton of um like DVDs of movies and TV shows and everything, and I'd love to be able to watch that on my computer, but I can't because I don't have a DVD player that can do that or in my computer at least. And the ones that they that, that that Apple sells as an adapter is like two hundred dollars, and it's like what? You want me to pay because your laptop doesn't have the things that I need? <laughs> you want me to pay for something that should be built in, so that I can watch something that I already own? And it's like okay, okay, I see, I see. Interesting strategy. Doesn't really make any sense to me. Because I already own all that stuff. And this should just have... They sh it should just come included on the laptop. But it's not included on the laptop, so... So instead those DVDs are all just like rotting alone in, my, in, in one of my rooms. And I'll probably never watch them. Oh, oh God! Let's let's go really. No. I want this to be a smooth transition, and it's not smooth enough. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, but coming back to Civ Five, sorry, that, that's what—that's the whole tangent that got me all thrown off. Is that I've I've been playing Civ Five a ton and find it like super fun. And Civ Six, I plan on getting eventually, but I mean, I hear mixed things about it. Some people say that it's good. Some people say that it's not so good. Some people say that. Uh, uh oh. See, this, this is the one problem that I have with the smoothing issue on here. Oh, there you go. It's like, usually it does not do circles well. And that's such an odd thing, because you think that it would automatically smooth to get to a circle. But nope, it does just the opposite. It smooths away from a circle. I think it's because in, in the internal algorithm, the internal algorithm thinks like you're playing snake or something, and oh, you just caught up to your tail, so now you lose, and now you don't get to draw your circle. I think, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Oh, now my, my zoom keys, oh no. What is going on? All right, there you go. So I think we're done here now. Oh, oh, whiskers, whiskers, whiskers. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Today is Tuesday. Today sucks. It's only a Tuesday. That sucks. <laughs> I really hate that. That it's a. Oh, oh. I really hate that it's only a Tuesday. So my strategy for adding the whiskers has been sorry. Close that layer completely. Because to me, the whiskers are like an entirely separate thing. If that makes sense. Let me just make sure. Alright, so I'm, I'm kind of messing up on here a little bit. I'm messing up this... Uh, I'm messing up this line over here, whatever you call it. It should be in front of the eye and it's not. But, oh well. 
So the whiskers, I hide that completely because I want the whiskers to exist on an, an entirely separate plane of existence. Because I think that that gives it, that's what gives it the most life. Is that good? Probably should have zoomed in before I did that. But Civ 5 is like this really addicting game. And I do plan on getting Civ 6 eventually, but like I said, I hear mixed things about it. And I don't know. I don't like the art style of it. And I also, I, I know some of the changes that have been made, uh, some of the changes that have been made in terms of like mechanics and gameplay, I feel like w won't work as well. It's not something that I'm too interested in seeing, if that makes sense. Like, I, I mean, I don't know how many of you actually play, but some of the changes are just like very different than Civ V. And I don't know how accepting I'm going to be to that. Let's see, let's see what I can do here. Whoop. That's not gonna do anything. Let's go, let's get on this layer. So I'm kind of torn um, between whether I should get it or not, and I obviously have to do a lot more of my own research on, on stuff like that, but There we go. Nope. What is going on? The entire tablet is just messing up. That's that's the one thing is like Toon Boom was not optimal. That's another thing of why the Mac sucks. The Toon Boom was not at all optimized for Mac. And especially this tablet. Which is just like this cheap pen tab, pad tablet, pen pad tablet. And it just leads to like these really creepy, weird bugs in the system. There we go. And now let's fix that. This is just like this music. This music is like nice and creepy. Is creepy, creepy music. Okay. We fixed that now. Looking good. Let's actually hide that. Yeah, that's much better. It's the little things. It's the small things that count, right? Including down here. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually right, but that's just what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Looks good enough to me. Okay. I wish you could play Billy Joel on, uh, you can, you actually can't, well, you can, uh, we, oh, the weird thing about Twitch is, like, it's live, right? So you could actually play whatever you want, but my, my thinking is always, uh, I'm always thinking about the live, no, whatever, the, the, the VOD, or whatever they're called now, past broadcast, that, that system, the, the archiving system, the archives, the replays, and then, if not that, then I'm always thinking about now, now YouTube, and I tried to actually do um, what was it? I think Billy Joel. I'm pretty sure I I tried to do Billy Joel, and so the way that Frank Sinatra works, the way that the Frank Sinatra stuff works is that actually I can just delete that now. The way that the Frank Sinatra stuff works is that uh, you can use it on YouTube, but you can't monetize it. And that's, I, you know, I don't care about that because obviously my YouTube channel is nowhere even close to being able to monetize. But the thing is, let me make a new layer here quickly. Ba -da -da -da. The thing about that is, um, that's fine, that's fine. But then when you move on to like Billy Joel, that you, you can't play. You just, you just cannot play it. No matter what you want to do, it, it's, it'll block your video in 
certain countries so it does not work and it's like what well, that's bs is bs but hey you know what like i can't i can't change the system if see, if i was a musician well i mean i guess it, 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 i'm assuming it's not billy joel's uh it's not his decision but if i was a musician and, it, and i had the decision up to myself I would not, um, you can, you can, what, what, I, oh god, no, there, I, I would, uh, I would make it so that my music could be played, you might just make it, make it so that you wouldn't, don't block it from other countries, make it so that it can be played, and then just, um, just monetize it <laughs> then that way you're the one that's making all the money off of it let's see I kind of have to think about how I'm gonna break this down I can I have to be really smart about exporting this you know what I mean because if not then it's gonna turn into a huge mess. Yesterday, I, I did a, like a really easy export of this, but I also, it also was in lower quality than I was hoping for, and this one I want to be much higher quality. So I, I'm blowing it up a little bit more, but now I have to deal with how to, how to even do it, let's see. So if I do this, it's gonna cut off the finger. Alright. And I need to make sure too that I stop at the same spot in both places. Which will actually be about there. Let's see, so the entire finger will be cut off and the left side, okay. So I'm just gonna start exporting like this now. And just go in, export, actually, ooh! I wonder if that's a good idea, if I go, come out here, extend the exposure, let's see, make the timeline nice and big, see, now it's almost like I'm animating again, but not, but not, <laughs> not at all, definitely not, alright, keyframe here, and move it around, oh, keyframe there, then, Let's see. And this is more just like the mathematical part. <laughs> this is a this is a very dull part. I actually I would cut this out if I had the chance, if I had the opportunity. Uh, is the are the keyframes not extended out? That's weird. <laughs> Let's see, so now we're stopped. So we stop here right before the brim. We stop there right before the brim and then right above the shoulder. So we go right above the shoulder. And then... Actually, just go up one more. To right there. <laughs> That's a little bit, a little bit of a wasteful screenshot. Okay. Then from here, we go, we can go over, which way? Doesn't matter because we have to do both, but let's do, let's do this way. 
Oh, am I gonna have to do four screenshots? I might. Oh, I'm gonna have to do four tilings of this. That sucks. Ah, uh, cause the whisker is just out of reach there. Let me just make sure. So we're here to like the the mouth. Oh no, I can I can do a little bit more. I can do a little bit more. Ah. Ah, no. What about there? Ooh, the whisker will just barely be in place. Oh gosh, that is that is a dangerous game to be playing right there. Let's see. So we go from like basically the tongue. Oh, we can pull it over more. We can pull it over more. There, that's fine. New keyframe. And pull it down. To the mouth, basically. Alright. New keyframe. And pull it over. To the top of the eyes. So. Top of the eyes. Let's see, I hope this works. I hope this works properly. If not, it's not the biggest deal. I can always just come back and do it again. But to, to not have to waste all this time doing it over and over again. Okay, cool. Now, finally, we come here New keyframe, pull this thing in, and we'll do, well I guess we'll do two shots of this too as well, just to make sure we have everything in. I don't know what to what extent that, and, and it'll, it'll help when we're piecing this together, compositing this in Photoshop, it'll help to see, uh, it, just in case, it'll help us like go and overlap stuff. Wait, I had the finger in, right? So, to like the crevasse. The crevasse. Have, I've talked about Ultimate Expedition before. That's like one of those YouTube red shows that's actually really good. I'm, oh, oh no, no, it's not Wednesday. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. But they, those usually come out on Wednesdays, and I'm really very, very excited for those. The stream, yeah, the stream is working okay, yeah. <laughs> But that's something I'm super excited for. That should be coming to a close actually pretty soon. But they left on a pretty good cliffhanger and it's like, ooh, I want to see what happens next. Like I said, that's one of like the most interesting uses of, of reality TV because it's through vlogging. And it's like, wow, that's a, that's a pretty, pretty novel idea, if I do say so myself. Because, like, with, without the need for a documentarian, it's like, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> like, real cool. Okay, this is Bugs Bunny yelling. Yelling. Alright, and... All frames. Alright, so this is going to export, this is going to render. Give me a couple of few. I'm going to pull out of here. I'll be back. I'm not actually gonna go anywhere. I'm just gonna go and pull this into. Oh God, I've made a mess on my computer. I'm just gonna go in into Photoshop right now and fix this thing all up. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the files in and then I'll composite it on stream so that way you get to see that process too. 
this is fun. This is actually a fun process. Um, actually, it's a... It, what I like about what I've been doing, and I, I talked about this on the YouTube stream, I think, is like, I, I haven't really, I, I've used the opportunity of streaming to basically, let's see. Uh, hold on. Alright, I should have 10 things in here. Let me do that now. I've basically used this opportunity of streaming all of my stuff to... Weird, this is weird layout. One, two, three. Okay. Oh no. Uh, I don't know how to import things into Photoshop properly. <laughs> no, I do, I do, I do. I was just getting it on already. Okay. So what I was saying is that I basically... Alright, here we go, here we go. Let me, let me pull you back in. So this is what I've been looking at. This is what we've done. Uh, this is what this is. This is it. This is it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you've composited when you when you brought this stuff in, and pulled it all in and just composited it. And I'm going to have to somehow make a somehow make sense of this mess. Actually, let me just... I can go to canvas size. Width. Change the width to be about 40. Alright. And change the height to be... Uh, like, we, we did like 4, right? So like 4 times that, basically. Is basically what we've done. And now it's just a matter of figuring out what here is what. And trying to keep it like as, okay, so this is a top. I don't know how it's all gonna lay, get laid out on, uh, on paper when this is all pulled together. Let's see, this. This should be up here. Oh God, this is, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I don't really know what the difference between these two shots are, but there's apparently one. Let's see, that looks like that's about lined up. So what is the difference between these two things? Just one has the top and one doesn't, so... So, why did I do it to... Oh, okay, yeah. So I feel like something something is off here, I feel like. Does that help? No, it's too far down. Is that really the closest that we're gonna get to be able to compile this properly? It feels like things aren't properly compiled, right? Because ideally, this should work it should fit exactly. It's literally the exact same image. So why is it not fitting exactly? Even now. Here we go. I mean, maybe maybe it's being a little bit a little bit too harsh, and that it probably won't ever fit exactly. But okay, there you go. That that fixed it. That fixed it. All right. Now we're gonna pull this in. This will come somewhere down here. I'll just set that off to the side there. This will. All right. I'll, oh, this is you know this is like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. That is this is this is really interesting. Okay. It's like putting together a little jigsaw puzzle. 
I've been prepared. I know what I'm doing. Oh, except I might be, am I missing a piece here? Oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. Is this like the Dark Knight? This is like the Dark Knight music. Ooh, did we get the, wait, what is this? This is like, lapse in time. This is literally the Dark Knight soundtrack. Did we get this to fit exactly without zooming in? Woo, success. This is so good, this score, whatever this is, it is definitely not, this is definitely like the Dark Knight. But I will not complain about that. Alright, so we got that little hand there. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna have to make this even wider. Weird. I thought we increased the width. Hmm, okay. I'm not complaining, the higher quality the better. Okay, so now we're moving on to here. It's trying to put things together. Oh, now we're layering three identical things on top of each other. Let's see if I can get this one to match as perfectly. Yeah, we did. Okay. So you see here, this is what I was talking about with coloring, and we'll, and we'll look at it a second too once we actually move on to coloring. It's like I have these little gaps here, and most likely that's because I knew that this was an area of the image that I was going to be cutting off anyway. But just the fact that it's there, it just shows you, it just tells you all you need to know. Oh no. It tells you all you need to know that by bringing it into Photoshop and doing the coloring separately, it's going to give me a lot more control, and you'll see why in a second here. Alright, let's see here. That's pretty good. I'm getting better at this. No, oh, maybe not. What about that? That looks pretty good. As good as you'll get. Okay. Is the, oh, is that right? Huh. I guess so. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the, the jaw, <laughs> obviously. I'm missing the, the, the head, <coughs> the face. All right, there it is. That's what we were looking for. So let me now Actually, I suppose not yet. But I'm, I am going to have to scooch this over here in a, in a quick second. Alright, here we go. Let's lower this. Ooh, this is... This is... Great. Great. Fits perfectly. Perfectly. Oh, so we're missing that one little piece there. That's... Oh, wait. No, no, no. We are not missing that one piece, are we? No, do not tell me that we are missing that one little piece. Oh, come on. There's that little just gap in the, in the, in the thing. Oh, no. Wait, we might have it, we might have it. We better have it. Let's get this lined up. Perfect, okay. I swear, if we do not have this one last little gap, look at that, it's just a little gap. Please tell me we have it. Oh, okay, we have it, we have it, we have it. Oh, God, that was, that was really intense there for a second. To this music, too. 
This music is very intense. All right, let's drop it down into place. That's proper. Weird, this is like the correct, this is like the correct spot for some of it, but not for all of it. You see that? See how it's like, this is like most... No, now it's too far to the right. Now it's perfect on the tongue. No, I guess it's perfect everywhere. Alright. So that, I don't even think we need that one. I'll, let, me, let me come back to it. Let's see, so now I, I have like three different things all pieced together here. For Pete's sake. So I want this stuff all to be at the bottom here. Oh, hey Tom, what's up? Sorry, I haven't, I haven't been checking. I don't know when you sent that. Hopefully not too far in the back. So we're in here, we out here, compositing this stuff. I'm missing one piece. Where are the eyes? Where is that top eye? Where is it? Where is it? Gosh darn it. Oh, there it is, okay. So now basically what I get to do is take that and bring it all up in there. It's coming together and the playoff picture's coming together. Watch it unfold. How's that look? Ew. Looks a little messy. Right there. Is that good? Yeah, that's not bad. I suppose it's not bad. Never talk about the NFL playoffs again, your PTSD. Okay, the Patriots win every single year, so you're able to lose a, a couple now and again. Alright, let's look at that. That is good. That is looking good. So what was this piece even for? Do we need it? Let's see if we even need that piece now. Pull out the canvas size. Right? Yeah, so don't cry. Don't cry about your stuff. Whoops. Oh, I was... Oh, uh, whoops, 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 whoops. Whoops. Wrong dimension. I know what width is. The old width, the height, the height, the height, and the width. Who says height? Height. There are definitely people that say that. The height, like they pronounce like the solid G, as in height. Height. All right, there we go. Classic, classic scene. Here we go. Nice and center. Do we have a center mark? That's not center. <laughs> Why is that giving me the center area thing? That's not center. What? What? What is going on? Why is it not centering it? Center it. That's not center. It's still not center. No, no. Ah, no. Okay. Wait, just undo that. There you go. What were you doing while you were gone? Were you watching highlights from the playoffs? Is that why you're in a bad mood now? 
yeah, we don't even need this. We don't even need this piece anymore. We're too good for this piece. Although now I'm kind of confused as to why I included it. I guess I just in included it as like a security, security piece. In case things went amok. But it, it just, it, with all the layering, it'll just make things look worse, so I don't even need it. Whoops, what just happened? Oh, this is yellow and three, okay. Cool, okay, awesome. So this is it. I'm gonna color it now. But this is the nice finished PNG line art. Line work. Line work. <laughs> You're watching your favorite YouTube video? Yeah, what is your favorite YouTube video? Yeah, send it to me. E either send it to me on Discord or, I mean, even even on here is fine. And I'll just click on it and save it for later. Obviously, I can't watch it right now. Let's see. Oh, no. Boo. 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 That video sucks. I hate that video. That video actually, that video actually, it really makes me like sad. It's just like, at first, at first I was just like in shock. I, I, I absolutely went through all the, the stages of grief. At first I was just in complete shock. Like I, okay, if you haven't seen, if you, if you never saw it on, on Pickup Football on that server, that football server that I used to be the owner of, um, I predicted that Aaron Rodgers was going to break, well, not to break his collarbone, I predicted that he was going to get, a, get into a serious injury this year. And that's because of the lack of the O-line. They lost two Pro Bowl O-liners um, during the offseason and then didn't replace them at all. Hold on, let, let me do, let me actually do this well. And so, I called it, I called it. And you can see, all the way back in March of last year, so well before the season started, I said, Aaron Rodgers is going to suffer a major injury this year. And that was why. So at first, I was like, you know what, I called this, and I was just like in such shock that I, I couldn't even believe it. And then, and then it set in. So I was like, I can watch this video. This, this video, this video means nothing. I can watch this video. Um, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's just, a, it's just a dumb video, and I predicted this anyway. I knew this was gonna happen, and, and you know what? I, I knew then. I knew then that it was going to expose the flaws of the Packers team. I knew then and there. So I was obviously sad, but. In a way, I was I, I had come to terms with the fact that it wasn't it wasn't going to be as bad as everyone thought it was going to be, because worst case scenario is basically what happened, which is worst case scenario is we all suck, and now we're actually going to get a good team out of it, you know, we 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 realize our flaws, we understand where we went wrong, you know what I mean. And that's a good thing. But obviously I'm still... Still gives me stress to have to watch that. Alright. So I'm, I'm just pulling in the original image now so that way I can pull colors from it. And then I can switch it back over to my view, which will be right now because I just finished. ba da da ba all right, so I just put in this original, the original one. And so the way that I did this yesterday was I just came in here with a paintbrush, simple, and just went, sampled like this color, and hid that, and just started painting the stuff in, so. Oh, what I do have to do first is get this little magic wand here. Make sure that the tolerance is really nice and high. 
Okay. Because on the edges, the, the tolerance, like, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, this might not work. Hold on. So I, I just take the magic wand and then like do the outside, expand that by five pixels should be in more than enough. Okay. And this just this this will just keep me inside the lines basically. Of the actual painting. Of the actual uh image painting, whatever you want to call it. Alright. So I just do a little whoop and whoop. Invert that. And I put all of my color in here. So that way I can just take a color, whoop, like my white for example, and I just paint. And even though I'm coming out of the lines here, I'm not actually going out of the lines. <laughs> even though I am going out of the lines, I'm not actually going out of the lines. Okay. This one I do have to be a tad bit more careful with. Especially once you get down here. Oh, no, no. It's, it's white all the way down. Yeah. It's white all the way down. So his entire skin is just white. Alright. 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 So this is what I was saying about with the paintbrush. Let me see if I can show you here for a second. So if I use the paint bucket, I use the magic wand. Oh. See, that time it worked. What is going on? <laughs> it's like, it's, it's only not working because I'm streaming right now. That's literally the only reason why it's not working right now. I use the magic wand right here. You see, you're seeing this. Then I go select, I'll modify it to expand. Uh, tree pixels, I'll say. What? Now it's working. Ah, I mean, like, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm just extremely confused as to why it's working now. Usually it leaves, like, a really terrible outline over... Man, I do not get that. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It leaves, like, this really uh, easily identifiable outline around the thing that you're trying to paint in. But it's not doing that now, and I don't know why. Like I said, I'm not going to complain, but I would have liked to have it. I would I would have liked if it worked yesterday instead of now, making me look like a fool. Photoshop is making me look like a fool. That's what's happening right now. <sighs> okay, rigged. Yes, exactly. This is rigged. Photoshop is rigged. SMH, I can't even believe this right now. It's a rigged system, folks. Let's see, this nose is like really nice and red. A little red nose. Alright. Let's add this in. This is gonna be too red. I mean, like, the, the, the power that I have when I'm coloring all this stuff in is like, I could make creative adjustments. And obviously I would prefer not to because then it's not a remaster, it's a remake, as discussed yesterday. Let's see, let's bring that out a little bit more. But if this doesn't vibe with like what's happening, then like that is a very, very red nose. Saw it live, sorry. You saw what what did you see? Oh, you mean like you're you're standing up as my witness? Like you saw that you saw that Photoshop was rigged, right? You you are my witness. You saw it. I mean, you di you didn't see the fact that it didn't work yesterday, but I I, I wasn't streaming yesterday. That's what I'm saying. It's like it, it's the opposite of a, like usually like when people are like I'm it's, it's a curse. It's the opposite of the curse because. It only works when I'm streaming, just to make me look like a fool, because I'll go and I'll complain about like, hey, this, this function didn't work yesterday when I did it the exact same way, and then I do it on stream and it works. It's just, it's just, just laughing in my face, basically. Adobe, Adobe is laughing in my face. 
What is this? Oh god. What is that link? Is that a link to my own thing? Let's see what this is. I've lost all respect. Sorry, this is absolutely rigged for money. Or ratings. I'm not sure which. I won't be silent. Just saw it live. Sorry. <laughs> is this like the new... What is this? Is this like? Is this a new meme? When is this from? January 16, 2016? Or er, June 2016? What, what is this in reference to? Oh, is this in reference to Brexit? Is that what this is? <laughs> just, just saw it live. Sorry. Hold on, wait, I can't see the chat anymore. I, you, I accidentally... I accidentally exited out of the chat. Oh, what is this ugly color? This is not gray. Wait, if you, if you sent any other messages, I didn't get to see it, so... Hopefully you didn't. Why is this purple? Alright, there we go. Shouldn't his teeth be whiter than his... Mm, than his hair? Mm. No, I mean, I guess they're not. That's weird. I, n I never noticed that. Warriors blue... Oh, oh, that was... it. Was that seriously about the Warriors thing? <laughs> That's actually really funny. I'm gonna start using that now. Post that, post that in the Discord so I can, so I can have access to it when I'm done uh, streaming. NBA Finals Game 7. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Post that, post that image so I can use it as a, as a meme in my Discord, in Wendar's World Discord. Oh yeah, so if you guys, if anyone is watching right now and they're not in the Discord, just, uh, go on my Twitter, which is, which is down below. I need to add the Discord down below to my, my Twitch panel stuff. But just go on my Twitter and it's, uh, it's one of the most recent posts, so if you want to join the Discord, just go there. I've, I've literally never seen that before. Like, I, I believe you, I trust you that it's a famous thing, because it, it's really funny, <laughs> but I've honestly never seen that before. One of the great, yes, that is, that is truly one of the greatest of all time. One of the goats, you might say. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be throwing that term around lightly, but yeah. Definitely one of the goats, definitely. <laughs> I like, I just like the whole goat thing. The whole goat thing is so dumb. Especially the Tom Brady goat thing, because people get so mad about that. This is coming together, just like the playoff picture. We're watching it unfold right now. This is pretty cool. I think that I think that is one of my favorite memes to come out of the Super Bowl was the whole the the playoff pictures coming together. Watch it unfold. It's just so dumb. That was one of the stupidest commercials ever, and they kept playing it over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> they played it they played it during the Super Bowl, which doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Why would they play it during the Super Bowl? Can someone explain that to me? I mean I know there's there was no logic whatsoever behind it, but please someone explain that to me. Why they played that during the Super Bowl. Obviously the play, the playoff picture already had come together by that point. <laughs> Went a little bit too far with that. There we go. Fixed. <laughs> Downward smiley face. Frowny face, I should say. Oh, frowny face. Don't mention the Super Bowl. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get an easy free ride of the Super Bowl again next year. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing at all. Alright, here we go. 
Cry, cry face. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? Green Bay hasn't even been to the Super Bowl since they won, so I don't want to hear it. I don't, don't want to hear it. We probably never will be again, honestly. If we're all going to be honest with ourselves. Not, not with Aaron Rodgers, at least. Not with Mike McCarthy, at least. We're not going to go to another Super Bowl. Alright, let's, let's look at these gloves now. This music, the music is good. I like it. I like, I just like not having to pick out music. I mean, the music that I was playing before was all stuff like personal playlist stuff. And so, on one hand, I was like, yeah, this is cool, because, like, this is part of what I actually listen to, and it's more, more of my personality in the stream. But, at the same time, it's like, oh, if people don't like it, they'll be, like, personally offended by the, my music choice. And it's like, that's not really how that works. Or they'll be like, oh, change the music to... Blah, 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 change the music to this guy, this guy. And it's like, I don't listen to his music, so I don't have a playlist of that guy's music, so, or gal, so I can't play their music. Because I like to, I like to be able to, like, vet it first before I play it, obviously. Because what's the point of choosing to play your own music if you don't get to hear it first and understand, like, what you're going to be putting out there? But... This has actually worked out A-OK, -okay. as, as good as I could have imagined. Alright. You can kind of like, I mean I, I haven't heard any of these songs before, but what I like about it is like you can, you can kind of, uh, no! You can kind of you can kind of figure out what the what the general gist of it is. You know, you can like improv along to it. Not that I'm any kind of expert, but that should tell you that it's so easy to just like improv along to it. All right, this glove is a is a strange strange color. Ooh, we're gonna be ah. See, we still have like 20 minutes left, but it's not going to take 20 minutes to fill in this one this one little section of the glove, so I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should just cut it early, or if I should... Ba -ba -ba oh wait, I still have the hat. <laughs> wait, never mind. I'm getting too cocky. I'm moving on. I'm moving on before we're even done, you know what? That's my bad. I'll take, I'll take the L on that one. I am definitely taking the L on that one. Let me let me move this tablet out of the way though, because we will not be needing that for the rest of the day. I really li I like this new mic. I like this new mic because it's like better sound quality than the ones I was using before, but it still allows me to be mobile because it's just like clipped to my face basically. <laughs> the mic that I was using before on stream was just part of a mic from these really old, really crappy headphones. Um, these Skull Candy headphones, they have like a mic built into them. Uh, earbuds, sorry, earbuds. So these are just like some plastic, dinky earbuds. And I was using that to, to uh, broadcast. And then I, I, I got this like really, really nice microphone from uh, it's called this Blue Snowball. Blue Snowball is what it's called. But the problem with that is, and it's like really good, really high quality, really great sound, really great everything. But, 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 hold on, let me see. Okay. 
But the problem with that, of course, because there's always a, there's always a catch, there's always a problem, is hold on, let me expand this. Is that uh, you have to be really up, you have to be right up close to it because it's a, like a condenser microphone, so it's going to give really high quality sound. Um, but you have to be really, really close and up close and personal with it. And when I'm moving around, and when I'm streaming, I'm moving around because like leaning back to get a larger picture, uh, just just generally moving around just so that I'm not sitting in one exact place over and over and over again the entire time. Uh, oh no. This doesn't actually do anything. You can't edit the selection at all, can you? I suppose I could. What? <laughs> what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this manually, I guess. <laughs> I don't I don't know what that was. Okay. I'm concerned about the edges because I didn't do a really good job checking the edges of this photo. I'm just kind of trusting that Photoshop actually worked, even though it didn't yesterday. I saw it live, sorry. But it looks like it did a pretty good job, except for that one little area that I had to fix. So the thing about the, the, the blue snowball microphone is like, it's super quiet because you're meant to be really up close and getting like super, it, it's for like voice acting and like doing really high quality work with it. And, oh crap. Which is fine, and I, that's what that's what I'm that's what I've been using for the videos for videos because like I'm able to be stationary and sit in one place and uh, just sit down and record, and it gives amazing sound quality. So the the actual the only video that I have recorded with it. Oh no no no! I have that that little like channel trailer thing that that forty second long trailer on my YouTube channel that's recorded using that microphone. And the the most recent spotlight video of the um, what's it called? What was it? The the of, of the brush pack. Downloading that brush pack that that you can get access to. All right, so I'm I might be changing the glove color, yeah, so that it matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, this is a difficult area here. Yeah, you see it already. Let's see. Let's see what this does when I like modify to expand it. I mean, that's the point. That is the point of expanding. But here, the edges are so so sharp that it won't work. Here we go. Edges are fine in there. Ooh, there's a little speckle up there. I guess this will take us to the end of the stream for today. Two hours, we'll have a really nice, good finished piece. That's that's about worth it, I would say. I don't I don't think I can complain too much about that. Took two hours to do in, in this nice little. This, this is gonna, we're gonna end up with a really cool finished product here. I don't know how much I could complain about that. Really not much at all, I don't think. I think some of the line work could have used some work, like up there. I was really shaky on that on those goggles that entire time. I'm not too happy with that. But it's not the end of the world. You don't notice until you um, zoom in, which I'm usually against. I'm usually against like cheating like that. But in this case, we're already so close to being done that I'm not going to go back and change it now. So it is what it is. <laughs> oh, this is a nice. Well, this is a nice little peaceful song to end on. Alright, the, the eye should be probably about the same color as the teeth. Let's see what let's see what happens. Let's see if it ends up being so being that way. This is like this is like really peaceful, it's like water. 
a little bit of water down here. This is, this is a nice way to end the stream, just end, end the day on a nice high note, or a nice chill note. Why is it, it always defaults to like purple? Because uh, the, the thing about the photo is like there's a lot of artifact, the, the, the photo that I'm drawing from, from the, the photo that I'm pulling colors from has like a lot of artifacting going on, so there's a lot of like messed up areas and that's why you're getting that the purple layer in the in the tones but i can always just go and fix it like i just did so song I suppose and then after this I'm gonna wrap it up so I'm just gonna finish this here as need be make sure that the edges are all nice it would suck to go through all of this work and not have and then have like a kind of just like a couple edges messed up that would really suck there we go. Now we're, now, we're, now we're straying a little bit farther away from the chill, the chill aspect. But this is still nice. That's, that's the weird thing about like the chill station on here is like it's e most of the chill stuff isn't even chill. Un un pretzel, the, the app that I'm using to stream the music. Most of the chill stuff isn't really chill. I mean, it's not like super, it's not like terribly unchill, but it's not terribly chill. Yeah, nice. Woot, woot. Woot to the woot. We got it. That's a cool look. That's a cool look right there. Do you like a nice flat design here? I wonder if it's worth trying to do something like that, like a flat design. I mean, perhaps, perhaps on another stream or maybe off air, I could try and see what that looks like. Does anyone know if there's a way that I can like auto? Like I, I want to auto flatten it. You know what I mean? Like just like fill in all these gaps using the surrounding colors. I mean, it's not something that would take super long to do by hand, but. It would be better if I didn't have to. <laughs> if not, it's okay. I'll, I'll figure it out on my own time. Because now, the stream is going to end. So, this is our final product. I really like the way that this turned out. I think the line work... Um, I actually think the line work turned out pretty good on this piece. I, I like the bold edges, the, especially up here, up here in the hat, and, and down here around the, the outside of the glove, and it gets a little bit thinner on the inside of this piece. Um, I like the nice little simple flat colors, and I think we did like a really nice job turning this back into an HD image all, all the way, all the way from there. This is the image that we were working with, that's what we ended up with. Image we were working with, some like low quality, crappy, old cartoon that was downloaded and re-uploaded in like 240p. And we turned it into this like pretty, pretty great masterpiece. Not a masterpiece, but a pretty, pretty great final product. And uh, yeah, it looks good. Um, I won't be streaming again until next Tuesday, but make sure you go down below, look for the YouTube, the replay of this will be up there 
tomorrow, of course, just like always, the, the, the YouTube replay is up the next day, right after the stream. And um, look for Friday, a video about, what's the video about? The video on Friday on the YouTube channel is going to be about colorization of real life photos, not of this, not, not of, not of uh, just coloring and line work, but of actual real life photos. So if you're interested in that, because that's from like a couple weeks ago at this point now, when I was doing all that stuff for the President's Day, and uh, creating like the President's Day photos stuff, photo blend, com composite, that's going to be the video coming out on Friday. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow here, make sure you join the Discord, that will be up on the Twitter and down below as well. <sighs> see you later, see you until then.